Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle. Uh, you may have noticed that I stopped using the Dark Team because that now that we started that Monotype challenge, I don't want to use any Monotype teams unless it's Monotype or we've already passed that challenge with that type. So for now, we're going to be using these. We might do some showdown battles, but uh, to the battle. Um, I saw his team. I brought Shuckle and Aromatis and... Tarantara and Garchomp, because I thought it might be the best. Um, you'll see I was severely mistaken, and <laughs> you'll see why. He sends out Charizard and Typhlosion, both shiny, I might add. I send out Aromatisse and Shuckle, clearly slower than them. But, you know what? Whatever. Because we got bulk on our side. Mega Evolves. Mega Evolves. Mega Evolves into Charizard Y. The sun comes up, and I'm thinking, wait a second. Wait a second. Uh-oh. Typhlosion goes for the eruption, and that does a lot. And now I'm now I'm thinking, uh-oh, we're in a pickle. So Shuckle, being the trooper he is, survives two super highly powered attacks, stab attacks, in the sun, and lives with 2 HP, but you know what? That's not going to do very much for us. And I gotta say, you know, I didn't see this coming. I should have. I really didn't, but I really should have. And it's a crazy strategy. I mean, it's really cool. I really like this strategy. Uh, it's clear that the Typhlosion is Choice Scarf. Um, at least to me it is. Because it's clearly really fast. And it's only been using Eruption, and that actually makes sense because it wants to stay at its health level. It wants to keep shooting out those Eruptions. So that's kind of cool, and I really dig that strategy. Um, they clearly hit very hard. Very hard. But he keeps going for the Eruption. Nah, it's not going to be doing very much because he's about half health. I go for the Rock Slide. And they're both going to go down because they're both fire types and Garchomp is a monster. But I attacked with Tyranitar just in case. Just in case. But, uh, we're off to a pretty bad start. We're already down two. He's down two, too. But we're missing HP and they're not. So we're already kind of in a, in a really bad position. We're in a bad position from the first, first matchup. But he sent out Snorlax to Machamp, and I know this Machamp's gonna go for that dynamic punch of my Tyranitar. But, um, guess what he doesn't? He goes for the Wide Guard. This guy gets Wide Guard. I had gone for the Earthquake, thinking, you know, I'd do severe amounts of damage to the Machamp. Nope! And Snorlax stockpiles, and now I know the game's over. The game is completely over. Uh, I know where this Snorlax is going. I don't like where this Snorlax is going. I'm not going to be able to kill this Snorlax. Machamp goes for Wide Guard again, expecting that Earthquake, but I knew that was going to happen this time. So I go for the Dragon Claw, and it doesn't do that much. My god. <laughs> Machamp is bulky, bulkier than you would ever think. I did not think this thing was that bulky. And then it gets a Citrus Barrier, so the next turn death is not possible with the Dragon Claw. So, yeah. Go for the Dragon Claw again, because I know the Earthquake would kill my Tyranitar, and I need to do the double, double attack on that Snorlax. Champ barely lives and hits me with an Ice Punch that knocks me out, and I'm thinking, okay, game over. Game is over. R rough skin will take out the Machamp, but the game is officially over at that point. But I don't really want to run. I want to see what we can do against the Snorlax. I know it's not. It's going to take everything we have, but um, it belly drums. And you know what? I was thinking. Okay, you know what? I'm going to give up now. But I was like, you know what? I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of curious how well Tyranitar can take a plus six attack from a Snorlax. So I go for the Dark Pulse, and he uses Rest, and I'm like, come on, man, I just want to see how well I can take this attack. I just want to see that. He's got the Chesto Berry, so he's going to wake up right now. And, yeah, I mean, hey, 
the game is pretty much sold at this point. There's there's nothing that he's gonna do to us, and he keeps like defending up. I don't know why he could just kill us easily. But um, I keep going for the attacks because I I really like. Part of me wants to flinch hax him, but the other part of me really I'm really curious to see how much this will do. And it really doesn't do that much, so I know that if I'm ever in this situation, I can handle a Snorlax. But since I put myself into this such a bad position that I really can't at this point. So he keeps attacking me, and I'm still it's like a four hit KO. <laughs> Plus six four hit KO, that's pretty cool. Um so I'm thinking, you know, if you ever run the Snorlax. Crunch might not be the best, um, because when you think about it, you have a partner, so you don't have to worry too much about ghosts, so stab, body slam, or something would probably be the better choice, but, um, that's just my opinion, and that's the game over, it was, it was a tough, grueling battle for me, but that Charizard Typhlosion lead is really cool, and I am most likely going to be using that in a future episode. Thank you for watching, uh, I felt bad that I kept uploading wins, and this one was a pretty cool loss, so decided to upload it. Thank you for watching, have a great day.